I can tell it's a sebaceous cyst because look how it changes shape. See that? It's almost like putty. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue and we always get lots of guinea pigs in that have different issues from time to time. Now this is Maggie. Maggie has already found a family and she's been adopted and she has come back with a little bit of a lump on her side which we're going to take a look at and see if there's anything that we can do. So let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is shave back the area. So let's pop Maggie over on this side so she can nibble around here. The lump is not overly obvious but it's actually down here on the hip. You can see the hair is sort of raised and I can actually feel around it there. Um, so it's like a little, little plate, a little nodule that's there, right there. So what we're going to do, Maggie, is just shave that back a bit so we can get a better look at what's going on. And you can see it's quite a little pocket, isn't it? There it is. So that's, looks like a sebaceous cyst. Um, there was some question as to whether maybe a tick had been involved as there's a little bit of a, a mark. But um, let's just take a closer look. So when we look at this sebaceous cyst, you'll notice it's, it's really quite solid. It's sitting right there pronounced on her hip. So if you look at her from top down, if you can get that view from above her and down, you can actually see, see how obvious it is when we've shaved it back, how big and how nodular-like it actually is sitting there. Okay, sorry Maggie, I'm interrupting your grass eating. Do you want to... <laughs> we don't want to bother her with that. So what we're going to do is take a look at this and see if we can actually remove that. Now, one of the things with the contents of sebaceous cysts is that they can become, when they're sitting there for a while, become really hard and solid, as this is. And it's got a little raised section on it, which you might just be able to see where it was going to rupture at, this little point. It's got like a little dot where that's going to occur. What we're going to do is make it cold. And I can tell it's a sebaceous cyst because look how it changes shape. <laughs> see that? It's almost like putty. Can you see that? How it's That's a sebaceous cyst that's sitting there. So I don't need to worry about that being um, more, more than that. Um, but we do need to keep Maggie well fed with grass <laughs> while we take care of it. So let's pop you there, sweetie pie. First thing I'm going to do is just make it numb. So let's do that while Maggie's concentrating on some grass. And good girl. So she's not even noticing that, which is terrific. Good girl, sweetie pie. Whoop, sorry. She just wants to eat the grass, which is great. Sorry, darling, I don't want to frighten you off there. Is that better? Yeah. I think she's noticing it going cold now. So let's see. Oh, got your claw caught. Oh, caught my glove. Here we are. This one. Good girl. Get down there. And I'm actually going, she's because she's moving around all over the place, I'm going to pop the grass down here. And I'm going to pop a little towel around Maggie. Just to, this towel is quite big, but I'm just going to keep her snug there so that I know she's in one place while I see if we can open up the contents of this area. Oh, that's freezing cold which is great that's exactly what we need right okay there we are now let's just get that out of there it's really quite thick and solid so this one will be slow to move out now what you can feel is the pressure underneath because the skin in here underneath where i'm sort of push i need that a little bit wider the pressure underneath is a bit like a pinch on the skin and that is not um of course that is not numb so if you were pinching skin even though you're not directly on a wound it's it would 
be saw, but I need to just make that bit wider. There we go. Okay. Twice we to cry. And then okay, just take that out. Sorry, darling. This has been sitting here for a while, just building up. And again, you can see the grey contents of the whole cyst coming out. There's quite a bit I can feel underneath. I'm just hoping to get all of it in one go. Hello, sweetie pie. I know, I'm sorry. Do you like to keep eating? Look, to keep eating this. Come on. Come on. Can I have this one? Yeah, she's wondering what's going on with all that pressure back there. <laughs> That's okay. Do you want to have this one? Okay. I just want to get that completely out. It's all coming away in one, one little lump. There we go. The whole thing out in one. And you can see this is a really great way to to deal with a sebaceous cyst. It's easy. It's quick. Oop, sorry, sweetie pie. And oh, there's your grass. Let's put you this way, sweetheart, so you can nibble, nibble, nibble with your head out there. That's it. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Just while we've removed the entire contents of this, it's nice and flat. There's no more. We've actually seen the contents of the cyst come out. And now, of course, we need to flush it. There we go. It's really important that you keep the hair well back from the edge of the cyst, which is why I'm just going over it again to make sure there's no little bits of hair in the way. And then we're just going to flush it. Sorry, sweetheart. That's it. Just... Putting our Deb result in, which is fantastic. Well done. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Sit there. That's it. Munch, munch. Oh. <laughs> Get some more grass for her. Try this one. Is that better? Look at that. Look at this one. Hey. We'll take a little look at her up this end. So everyone can see what's happening down there and how she is at this end. Because people do get really disconcerted about this but with guinea pigs it really is rather like a very large pimple in the sense that if you treat it in the right way you can clear the area well not have it return and uh, for these little guys by tomorrow that will be fully sealed and healed but it's a case of knowing what you're doing with the right with the right items and um, Again, knowing what you're dealing with, with these animals. Because in rescue, we deal with so many different complications and issues, and we work closely with many, many vets. Um, it's great to be able, look at her nibbling away down here. It's great to be able to show you and share with you some of the skill that we use in rescue with the animals. So. Now that I've got that done, we can actually finish like that. But because she's actually going back to be with her owner, um, what we're going to do is just apply a teramycin spray, which is an antibiotic spray, which is really effective. And what you'll notice is a little bit of bubbling when we put that on, but it's really fantastic. So we'll just spray that on there. There we go. Sorry, sweetie pie. She's thinking, what's that noise? And of course, it dyes everything. So. When you touch teramycin spray, it's, it uh, will dye everything. So we'll just wait for that to dry. I want to make sure I get it right mm. in that area a bit more. She moved around. Let's try that. Hold on. There we go. All right. And you can see it's, it's 
sprayed everywhere, but that's fantastic. We're just going to, I know, you're blue now. <laughs> I know, they're all blue, which is perfect. So that's it from me and that's it from Maggie. Like and subscribe and make sure that you um, share this knowledge with other people. And yeah, seriously, reach out to me if you're unsure about exactly what something is because you do need to know what you're doing. You do need to know what you're dealing with before any of this is conducted. Go to a, a cavi savvy vet who can deal with them in this way. Um, or alternately, if, um, yeah, if you have a rescue nearby, then reach out to them. Okay, thanks very much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Just so you're sort of showing what it's made of. So it's pretty solid, isn't it? It's like, hmm. That's it.